Hello everybody, Amy from Flow Fit Yoga here with our practice of the week. This time we did a bunch of poses using the chaturanga arm position just to sort of build that muscle memory. So when you're practicing your chaturanga, hopefully this will give you a little extra muscle memory and a little extra sort of leg up when you're doing that. So we're going to start at the top edge of our mat. Inhale the arms up and exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway for leg. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to high plank. We're going to go from high plank and then we're going to drop the knees, bring the shoulders a couple of inches forward so that your elbows stay over your wrists and then we're going to lower down, upper body nice and slow. You have to draw your navel to your spine and make sure the ribs are pressing up for support. And then we'll inhale to up dog. You can take a cobra if up dog doesn't work for you. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Shift your weight to your left foot, inhale the right foot up. Exhale, bend the knee, step it through, lower the left knee down and we'll come up to a low lunge. Add the left knee if you need to. We're going to drop the arms out in front. Turn the palms so they're facing away from you and your hands are flexed. And then on our inhale, we're going to pull back. Keep the arms close to your side and pretend you're squeezing something between your shoulder blades. And then as you exhale, you're going to imagine you're pushing something away. So inhale and pull. So you have to create that resistance. And exhale and press. Two. Three. Let's do five. Four, little straightening and bending in the front leg. Five, and inhale, come back. Exhale, take the hands down to the floor. Try to keep them in the chaturanga position. We're going to add a little twist, so left hand stays down. Inhale, and the right up, twisting from the torso. And then right hand is going to come right back down, curl the toes under, step it back to plank. Good. Coming forward two inches, knees can come down. Draw the navel to the spine, press the ribs up. Come down nice and slow, hug those elbows in. Uncurl the toes, inhale, lift to upward facing dog or cobra, hug the outer ankles in, exhale, downward facing dog. Switching sides, left leg comes up, nice deep inhale, exhale, bending the knee, stepping it up and through, right knee drops down. Inhale, arms up, exhale, sink into the hip and knee, lower the hands, flip the palms up. Our inhale, we pull back, hug them in, exhale and press. One, breathe in, and out, two, Three, really try to squeeze those shoulder blades together when you come back. Four, and five. Good, nice deep inhale. Exhale, we're gonna take the hands down and add the twist, right hand stays down. Inhale, left arm up and turn the torso slowly and gently to follow. And then left hand is coming right back down. Toes curl under, set it back. Spread out the fingers, scoop the belly, press the ribs up and back. We're coming forward two inches. So you wanna stay in those big toe mounds. You're going to slowly come forward, hug your elbows in, and lower down nice and slowly. Uncurl the toes, I'm with a little ahead of my wrist. Inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. So try to keep that elbow stacked over the wrist is tough. You have to come forward sometimes a little further than you think, but just play with it a little bit and you'll get it. So shift your weight to your left. We're going to take the right foot up and out again. Take a nice deep inhale on your exhale, bend the knee, and step it through. Left heel drops. Keep it over to the left edge of your mat, and we're going to inhale up to warrior one. Exhale, bending the knee, anchoring through the back heel. Make sure the legs are working evenly. We're turning everything towards the front edge of the mat, but we're not forcing the hips to do anything weird. So you don't need to spin the hips around too much. Just try to face the front edge. Take a nice deep inhale here. On our exhale, we're going to do that same thing with the arms. Arms out in front. Flip the palms up. Inhale, pull them back. Exhale and press. One. Little straightening in the front knee. Two, pull it back. Three, try to keep the wrist level with the elbows. Four, and five. Good, and then we're gonna inhale the arms up and exhale, take it to warrior two. Now you can shift the feet so they line up, heel to arch, extend through the fingertips, lean a little deeper. Don't lose the anchoring of that back heel. Feel that strength through the fingertips. We'll reverse it, drop the back hand, take that front arm up and over. Roll your gaze and your rib cage slightly towards the ceiling. And then pressing into the feet, we're inhaling, coming up. Let's take a little side ankle, take the forearm to the thigh and extend that top arm up and over. Don't lose this bend in the front knee, keep it nice and deep. And we're going to circle that top hand all the way around to the floor. Spin onto the ball of the back foot as we take a twist again. And then right hand comes down, step it back. Good. 
Lowering down again, chaturanga. Knees can always come down. Try to come forward, hug the elbows in, and lower down. Uncurl your toes. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg comes out and up. Nice deep inhale. On your exhale, bend the knee. Step it through. Drop the right heel. Inhale up, warrior one. Exhale, arms out in front. Flip the palms up. Inhale, pull them straight back. Straighten the leg. Exhale and press. One. Let's do five here. Two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, opening to warrior two. Again, you can adjust the feet. Reach through the fingertips. Make sure you're not tracking over that front leg. Nice, straight, strong arms. Deep, steady breath. Drop the back hand. Take that front arm up and over. Roll the ribs and the gaze slightly towards the ceiling. Relax your neck and your jaw. Coming up through the legs to side angle pose. Forearm to the thigh. Top arm extends. Nice deep bend in the knee. Gaze is up at the hand or the ceiling or straight ahead or even down if you're struggling with the balance. And then we circle right hand down to the floor at the same time. Spin onto the ball of the back foot and lift the left arm towards the ceiling for a twist in the other direction. Then left hand comes down. This time we're going to step the back foot forward. And let's take a little squat. Heels in. You're going to turn in. Toes are going to turn out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop into the squat. And then get your chaturanga arms going. So palms up, elbows in. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, we're going to press and pull. One. Stay in the squat. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, good job, eight, nine, ten. Now we pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hands come down, step or hop back to plank. Lower down, so line those wrists under those shoulders, then come forward a couple inches, hug the elbows in, lower down. Uncurl toes, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Good work. One more round with a high lunge. Shift your weight to your left foot, take your right foot up, bend the knee, look between the hands, step it up and through. Inhale, up high lunge, around the ball, left foot. Exhale, take the arms out in front, bend the knees. Inhale, pull back, exhale, press. One. Back knee's gonna dip. Two. Good work. Three. Four. Building that heat. Five. In those quads. Six. You know I love to do. Seven. Eight. Try to get it going to the upper back too. So squeeze. Nine. Those shoulder blades. Ten. Now pull it back. We're gonna pulse and we're gonna pull back. So shoulder blades and quads. One. Two. Or upper back. Three, I should say. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice deep inhale, exhale, fold forward. You're gonna take the twist, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. Extend through that left heel as you reach up. Right hand comes down. Step it back to plank. Lower your knees if you need to, otherwise coming forward, hug elbows in, lower down. Uncurl toes. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Shift your weight to your right foot. Take your left foot up. Take a nice deep inhale on your exhale. Step it up and through. On the ball of the right foot. As we inhale up, high lunge other leg. Exhale the arms out in front. Turn the palms up. Dip the knee. Pull back. One. Two. Make sure you're breathing. Three. And working that upper back. Four. Just as hard as you're working the quads. Five. Six. Keep wrist, seven, elbow height, eight, that's important. That's your chaturanga arm, nine, ten, now pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, good job, take it down, right hand stays down, inhale, left arm up for the twist, and then left hand comes down, and we're going to step it forward one more time. This time, back up a little. Chair pose. Toes together. Heels are going to naturally be maybe like thumb width apart. We're going to inhale the arms up. 
Exhale, take your chair, then extend them out in front. Here we go, pull back as we dip. One, one more quad. Burner, two, keep the wrists, three, and the elbows parallel to the floor. Four, five, six, and those arms close to your side. Seven, they should brush against your ribs. Eight, nine, 10, good, let's do 10 more. 10, hang in there. Nine, try not to straighten your legs. Eight, seven, squeeze, six, so shoulder blades together. Five, four, strengthening the upper back. Three, two, good work. And little pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Hold it for three, two, one. Press into the feet. Inhale up. Reach up really tall. Exhale, take a back bend. Inhale back to center. And exhale the hands down to the heart. Whew, good job. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Subscribe if you'd like to see the videos or get a notification when new videos come out.